Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this MacBook Pro mid 2015 15 inch version and it has an issue with the speakers which I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So that's basically distortion caused by the speakers um, having an issue with probably had too much volume driven through them over period of time. So I bought this particular set of replacement speakers from Amazon. So this is the Pad RC brand. Pretty sure that they're all the same um, product from China and this has been rebranded to go on Amazon. But uh, anyway, these new speakers will basically solve this issue. I've done videos of the mid-2015 13-inch version and that's a significantly easier job. Um, I've got a video of that in the description. The 15 inch version of the fix is much more difficult to do. We have to do a full logic board removal and then remove the speakers because they are actually nested slightly underneath the logic board. So it's a, it's a fix that takes substantially longer than the 13 inch version, but we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we'll do is to shut down the computer and then we're going to disconnect the battery and then start work on this case. So the very first thing that we're going to need is the pentalobe screwdriver. So um, I've got mine here. It's kind of a MacBook screwdriver and uh, it's listed here as a PL 1.2 millimeter screwdriver head. Okay, so then what we're going to do is turn over the MacBook Pro and then unscrew all of the bottom plate. So I'm using my pentalobe screwdriver and we're just going to take out all of these screws. So now we can remove the bottom plate. So once you've removed the bottom case, we're gonna have the laptop laid like this. And the very first thing you should do is just disconnect the battery. So we just um, pull up this bit of tape, this connector here, that disconnects the battery and make sure that you don't actually damage any components with um, electrical current. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is take off the solid state drive cover. So not all of the, not every MacBook you'll have will actually have this cover, but um, they do appear sometimes. And uh, that's the solid state drive itself. We can see the speakers here. This is the left speaker and this is the, well, this is the left speaker when it's facing you and this is the right speaker. And um, because of the way that it's connected, part of the plastic is underneath the logic board and uh, similar here as well. So we actually have to remove most of the components in order to get to it. So I'm using a T5 screwdriver to pull out all of these cables. So I'm going to take off this cable on the logic board here first so I can remove this cable. Just removing the shield. So try and keep everything in the correct place because you'll need to reconstruct this and all the different screws are have different lengths as well. Let's pull off this cable. Then I can get to this, um, this uh, other cable and then I can pull off that part here like this. So that's disconnected now. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the actual Wi-Fi cables. So these are the cables for the Wi-Fi antenna. So I'm just gonna pull, take these off. I'll remove the screws which hold the fan in. Try and put them in a, in the kind of order so we can actually see that we don't mismatch the screws. And pull this bit of silicon out.
So we're going to give this a quick clear out. Um, make sure you don't have any screws lying around when you do this that uh, might get blown away, but I'm just going to clear up some dust with this, this can of compressed air. So I'm just going to move the uh, logic board just slightly out of the way so we can get access to the speaker. Just trying to save as much time as possible. So there are three screws holding this uh, the left speaker cable in. I'm just going to remove that. And then we can take out the, the speaker on this side which I'm going to replace now. So I've got my new speakers here.
Okay, so I've turned on the computer now just to do a little test and let's have a look at how the speakers sound. Perfect. So anyway, these speaker replacements are relatively cheap to do and, um, and as you can see, it didn't actually take that long. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.